let's go through the steps of activating the compressed air foam system. The first step, we would go ahead <coughs> and take the fire hose, hook it up to the end of the pump system itself, roll the hose out, and make sure that this bale is in the off position, which is forward. Back is on, forward is off. The next step we would do is we would take the foam concentrate, <coughs> pick it up, pour four of these into this 550 gallon water tank. Once that's been done, we would then stir the concentrate with the water for approximately 20 to 30 seconds. Come back to the system, open the pins, open the cap, open your nitrogen cylinders. This is an inert gas, it robs oxygen from fire. And we'll go ahead and open one up. And we'll open another one up. So in a normal situation, what we would recommend is you open all the cylinders. So you're in good shape. What I'll do for the sake of this demonstration is I'll close them again and, and uh, stick the pin back in so they're protected from elements and people's feet and things of that nature. After that, you would come over here and set your operating pressure at 90 PSI on each one of these regulators. Now set your pressure at approximately 90 to 100 PSI. Make sure the two pressures are pretty much consistently the same. We'll put it right about here. Then what you would do is you would open this larger ball valve to the white marking. And the smaller ball valve you would open completely all the way, which is pushing it this way. What we're going to do is, is we would open the larger ball valve to where the black line meets the white dot for a dry mix and where the white black line meets the black dot for a, very, uh, a much wetter mix depending on um, how much time is available to you prior to the fire advancing. And as well open up the smaller red valve ball valve all the way, that's your air injection. Now on the smaller ball valve, the red half inch ball valve, you would open this in this direction all the way, which allows air to flow into the, uh, the flow of water with foam concentrate. This will allow you expansion, bubble structure, and distance out the The hose. ball valve that you're looking at right now should always stay in the on position, which runs um, oh, straight back and forth as you can see the plumbing right now in that mm -hmm. videotape that should stay on this is the off position and this is the on position and it does nothing more than allow flow of water to come out of the tank to feed the pump then go take your hose and start applying your foam what we would recommend you doing first is apply foam to the exposures the exposures being the trees and the vegetation in a perimeter of about a hundred feet around the house itself then take the resources and apply it to the roof of the structure and any glass. After that, set down your hose and if you have an opportunity to evacuate, please do. And if not, your safest place to be is inside the structure. What we would recommend as far as your priorities, what to foam first and so forth, uh, we would strongly urge you to start with the propane tank. Once the propane tank is heated to a point, it vents into atmosphere. If there's flame or superheated air around, that venting of the gas will turn into a flame that shoots about 30 feet high and will last anywhere from one to three hours, which could cause additional problems around this area. So we would recommend that you first coat the propane tank appropriately, that's about one to two inches thick with the foam, and then take the hose and start spraying the vegetation, the eucalyptus trees, and all the different brush and bushes you have within that 100 foot perimeter of the house and then get the house itself. What you're doing is you're creating a barrier between the superheated air or flame and the structure itself by coating the surrounding vegetation with this protein based foam. In doing so you've bought yourself incredible amount of space, you're cooling down that superheated air and you're preventing flames from reaching the house with a factor of about 100 feet of room between the house itself and where the flames are going to stop. It's their foam system on a trailer. The application and the activation process is the same 
is the stationary system we just filmed. Take approximately six gallons of protein foam concentrate, which would be one five gallon fill and approximately a gallon out of another five gallon jug. You do not need to be precise with your mixing. If you go over, it's fine. If you go under a little bit, it's fine as well. So there's no science involved in activating the system itself. Once it's activated, same thing. Go up and grab your hose with your bale, start doing your work. This provides mobility, which gives you the opportunity to get in areas that aren't immediately around the house. As far as protective clothing goes, we would strongly recommend a Nomex shirt and a Nomex pants, boots, a pair of good leather gloves, a scarf around the neck to protect flying embers from coming into between your collar and your neck, as well as to put over your face to, um, to prevent um, inhaling as much smoke as you normally would. Don't wet down the rag thinking that that will filter the smoke, it makes it worse. Make sure that that rag stays dry or as dry as possible with the sweat from your body.